In this unit, you learned about screening measures and concepts of sensitivity and specificity. So I just want to review what these concepts are in a bit more detail. Here I have a two by two matrix. And across the top, the first row here is actual status. Whether or not someone truly has a hearing loss or truly does not have a hearing loss. So again, this is actual status. Actually has a hearing loss, actually does not have a hearing loss. In the first column, it's the results from the screening. Refers from the screening, passes on the screening. If an individual truly has a hearing loss and they refer from the hearing screening, we call that condition a true positive or a hit. If an individual does not have a hearing loss, yet they still refer on the screening, we call that result a false positive. If an individual actually does not have a hearing loss and they pass on the screening, we call that a true negative. Again, we say that the results from the screening were suggestive of no hearing loss or no need for further testing and in fact the individual did not have a hearing loss so that's what we consider a true negative. If an individual actually does have a hearing loss yet they still pass on the screening we call that response or result a false negative. We have missed that person. They do have a hearing loss but the screening measure did not identify them um, for further testing. So sensitivity. Sensitivity correctly identifies individuals who have a disorder. And we can calculate the exact sensitivity of a particular measure. When we're thinking about sensitivity, we're going to be most concerned with the results in this column, those individuals who actually have a hearing loss. So in the ratio, the denominator of this ratio, we're going to sum the number of true positives or our hits along with the number of false negatives. And individuals who do classify as false negatives, they do have a hearing loss, but they passed on the screening. So when we're calculating sensitivity, we take the number of true positives and divide that by the sum total of the number of true positives plus the number of false negatives. Okay, so that's our sensitivity um, number. Specificity is the how well the screening correctly excluded individuals who did not have a disorder. We don't just want to identify those who need further testing, who it's suggestive of a disorder. We also want to make sure that we are not over uh, referring individuals from the screening who did not need to be referred. So for specificity, we're most concerned with the column of actually does not have a hearing loss. Remember again, this is true um, life. So for specificity, we're going to take the true negative. Again, that's how well um, the screening said everything was fine and the individual doesn't actually have a hearing loss. Divide that by the sum total of the true negatives plus the false positives. Again, the denominator for specificity is individuals who actually do not have hearing loss. So it's true negative plus false positive. To put this into practice, what would be the sensitivity in this case? Well, again, for sensitivity, we're going to take the number of true positives, which is 7, over the sum total of all people who have a hearing loss. So that would be 7 divided by 7 plus 2, or 9. So if these were our results, the sensitivity of whatever measure this is representative of would be 78%. Specificity, to do specificity, we take the number of true negatives, which is 27, divided by the total number of people who actually do not have a hearing loss, which is 31. The specificity of this measure is 87%.
So it is slightly more specific and slightly less sensitive. And in determining screening measures, we want to maximize both of these criteria.